thing. But what we are doing now, which has never been done before that I'm aware of uh, in our country's history, is we are saying either you take this shot or you lose your ability to feed your family. It is that simple. With no choice, no option, and no alternative. That is what we're here to hear from the public, which is which has not been done, and that's really the focus of why we're here today. All these other issues are nice issues to have a conversation about, but we have not heard from the public, and that's really why we are here to hear their story and what their impact is. Doing now, which has never been done before that I'm aware of. Uh, in our country's history is we are saying either you take this shot or you lose your ability to feed your family. Whoa. This dude, these people are the absolute devil. I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. The honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Talk about Draco. Because that's what's coming down. This is what you see. Ease is getting ready to come down with that sword. You see? You heard it out of the devil's mouth himself. Right? That if you do not take that potion, if you don't bow down to this system, right? Because that's what it's all leading to, the NWO. If you don't bow down to the system, you getting cut off. And that's why Elder Yashawamba always mentions in his videos that eventually we are going to have to separate. Right? Now I want to go into this word Draco. Right? Draco is a famous Athenian judge who reformed the Greek laws revolving around murder and revenge. These laws were so harsh that his name will become an adjective for harsh punishments. Draconian. Death was a consequence for a violation of many of his laws. Let's read that again. Death was a consequence for a violation of many of his laws. You should already know what I'm getting first. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Right? Woe, meaning destruction. Destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And this man is the ultimate devil. Right? He wants to stick this potion inside you, inside your children. Right? His experiment you know, he wants to put this thing inside you. And then he wants to tell you that if you do not take this potion, well, you know what? Let's just cut you off from society. He is the devil, man. Right. And this will be this what we have been telling you people for a very long time. Not just through these videos we make. Not just through these videos, but on the highways and byways, too. But what do you people deem us as? Especially y'all people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. What do y'all deem us as? Oh, y'all crazy. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all extreme. The Bible don't say this. The Bible don't say that. But the Bible says this and the Bible says that. You people don't know what the hell you talking about. We're measuring the times diligently. We're letting you know that this devil is about to come down with great red because he knows if he had but a short time. You see? As the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with us and revealing things unto us, right? Starting with our teachers, our apostles and elders from Great Millstone on down. We're pouring this word back out into to the streets, okay? To the people. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, right? But guess what? Y'all so linked in with the serpent, his system. Y'all have drunk so much out of his golden cup. 
you believe everything he says, right? You believe that he means well for you. Little do you know. This devil's trying to destroy you, man. Especially you Israelites. The book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil's come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Because he know, he know that his rule is over with. He know it's almost up. Right? So what is he trying to do? He's trying to establish his NWO. Right? He knows what's over for him. What the scripture says, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? This nigga's little season is up. It's almost up. Right? And eventually you about to see this devil run around the earth like a madman. He's already running around the earth like a madman. You see? But what he's doing is, you know, he, he's still using his deception. Okay? Smooth, uh, still speaking uh, uh, the words in his mouth as smooth as butter. You see, he's still, don't, kind of, still buttering people up. Right? But eventually, eventually, he's just going to go all out. And he's going to show his horns. And he's not going to give a damn. Did you hear what this man just said? Did you hear what he just said? Let's play it back. Because I don't think you heard what this devil just said. Thing, but what we are doing now, which has never been done before that I'm aware of uh, in our country's history, is we are... Uh, what we say? Rome 2.0. This is Rome... This is what we've been saying. The second leg of Rome. You're saying either you take this shot or you lose your ability to feed your family. Mm. Had another scripture that came to mind before we get that. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing. And there is no new thing under the sun. You see? No new thing, right? And we're starting to see all this stuff circle all back around, right? Everything that was going on uh, in Rome, what was taking place in Rome, we've seen it all, three, the whole 360, you know, coming full circle. Isaiah chapter 36, verse 6. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. And a modern day Pharaoh, right, is the person that's who's ruling in America, right, will be uh, Biden, so to speak, right? And he's just a puppet, we know. He's just a puppet set up. Do the bidding for the higher, the upper echelon. You know? But all you that trust in his this trust in the staff of this the support system of this broken reed, you're gonna lose. You are going to lose. Like, seriously. But hey. We're just going to warn you as what we were told to do. Give you warning from me, as the scriptures say. So we're giving you warning from Yah, by Shemel Shah. Whether you take heed, whether you know take heed or not, hey, it's up to you, right? But you heard it. This devil coming. He is coming. Shalom.